Hi folks, welcome to the second episode of One to One at Christmas. If you missed the first one that we did with Laura just the other day, you can go back and watch it on our Facebook page or our YouTube channel. Um, but today, my special guest is Mr. Colin Connell. How are you doing, Colin? I'm okay, guys. Not bad at all. Good. Can you see all right out of those glasses? Oh, yeah, I can see fine. I wouldn't have them on. <laughs> It's good. Uh, thanks for making the effort to, to get the Christmas gear out. Are you the kind of person that prepares for Christmas quite far in advance? Or are you a, sort of last no, minute no, no, no. I'm a wee bit like yourself. Aye. Aye. Rushing around at the last minute. Aye. That's the way it should be done, I think. Just adds to the excitement. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to crack on with a quick fire quiz. Um, and just so that you know, Laura is currently sitting top of the leaderboard because she's the only person that's done it so far. But she scored 12 points, which I think is actually probably quite a good good score. So that's what you've got to beat today. You get 60 seconds, mm -hmm. two points for a correct answer, minus one for a wrong answer, and you can pass on just one question. So feel free, folks at home, to, to play along. Let us know how many you get right in the comments below the video. Uh, but Colin, are you ready? Yeah, I'm fine, mate. Okay. Here we go. Your time starts now. What three gifts did the wise men give to Jesus? Myrrh, frankincense, and gold. Correct. Which actor played Kevin in the Home Alone films? Macaulay Culkin. Correct. Finish this line from the carol. Hark the herald angels sing. Christ the newborn saviour. No, I can't have it away. Glory to the newborn king. king. When a child is born, was Christmas number one for which singer? Tony Mathis. Correct. Which country supplies the Christmas tree that's put up in Trafalgar Square every year? Mm, that's a hard one. Mm, Germany? Nope, it was Norway. Which Wait. Old Testament prophet predicted Jesus would be born in Bethlehem? What's the way? I lost it again. It was Go. Micah. Who are the yeah. only band to have four Christmas number one singles? Oh, I don't know about that. Uh, only that's band. Yep, yeah, that's the time up. I'll let you answer this one, though. If you, so take, take a second. Four Christmas number one singles? Four Christmas number ones, yeah. No, no. I think maybe three of them were back-to-back -back as well. Could be wrong in that, though. It's going back, to, going back a long time. Maybe, maybe even when you were a, a lad. No. Christmas number ones. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the Beatles. Correct. Yes, we got yeah. there. Good. Uh, right. Let me add up your scores. Three, four, six, eight. Seven. Well, calling that. Uh, that was a bit of a shambles. I said it was. <laughs> That's I'm not fine. very good in under quizzes. I'm not at all, honestly. It's the pressure. Pressure gets to you. Yeah. That was five points. So five points. Okay. It means you're, you're second, second well, at the moment. So probably that's... the bottom of the table, but that doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, that's uh, that was good. Um, so before you go, I've got another yeah. three Christmas-related questions to to ask you. Okay. The first one is: What is your favourite ever Christmas present? Well, uh, I got married on December the 22nd, so I would say that marrying Alison was probably a very early Christmas present, it was probably the best I've ever had, uh, but if you're, if, you're, if you're putting me down to like a material thing, it has to be a wee ranger's, talk, a wee ranger's trip. I have to mention that because we'll take, uh, we'll take your first answer and we'll, we'll, edit, <laughs> <laughs> we'll edit out that one. That's uh, okay. Um, no, I mean that uh, Alison's a pretty good Christmas present, and given yeah. given that answer means well, that you'll get your Christmas dinner this year as well. So I would think so. Yeah. Um, so. Good. Um, the second question is: What is your favourite Christmas carol? My favourite Christmas carol is. Uh, it's probably a, a, it's, it's maybe one that's not a favourite for many. It's not a kind of joyous one, like your uh, Joy to the World or Heart the Herald Angels Sing or Once in Royal Davis City. But no, it's it's in the bleak midwinter. 
uh, that, that's my favourite uh, uh, Christmas carol. It was uh, actually a poem by a lady called Christina Bassett uh, a long, long time ago, and she uh, she uh, po you know she was a poet, a poet, and she it first came out as a poet, a poem, and uh, then it was uh, made into a Christmas carol. But the last verse for me is. is it speaks a lot to me because it says, what can I give him? Uh, poor as I am, if I were a shepherd, I would bring a lamb. And uh, if I were a wise man, I would do my part. And there's the last two lines of this verse that I really, really touches my heart. And it says, what, yet what I can I give him? Give him my heart. And uh, I suppose that's uh, for poor people. Uh, that's... Uh, the only thing that they could give the Lord Jesus is their heart, because there's nothing else to give. So it's a, it's a special, I love to hear it sung. I've heard it sung by so many people, uh, artists and, 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 and people in, in, in churches and that, and uh, it kind of speaks to me. I, I like it. The lovely four, ver four verses are really nice. So that's my favourite. That's good. Do you want to give us a, a verse of it? To, we'll give you an extra couple of points in the quiz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the first verse is in the... In the bleak midwinter, frosty wind made moan. Earth stood uh, hard as iron, water. I meant, I meant sing it, Colin. No, just no, I'm not singing it. No, I'm not <laughs> singing. you're not getting any more points for that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Um, final question is: What is your favourite Christmas-related Bible verse? Uh, the, the Christmas one, that, well, one that, that, that means a lot to me. Uh, really, it's a Bible verse, but it's it says that it's in First John four. In verse 14, and it's, it simply says, The Father has sent the Son to be the Saviour of the world. That's that's my favourite one. Yeah, and that, that sum, sums the whole thing up, doesn't it? it that's does. what, what it's really all about. So, yeah. 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 Perfect. Well, that's us done and dusted. Episode two in the bag. Thanks very well, much that's... for your help with that, Colin. How, how do you feel that went? Ah, you're fine, fine. I, I just. Uh... Just pleased that at least I'm holding up the, the bottom end of the quiz and, and Laura's holding up the top and everybody else will probably be in between that, maybe. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thanks very much. Thanks to everyone who's watched at home as well. Again, let us know what your score was in the quiz and uh, join me again in another couple of days. We'll have another guest on. And uh, for now, goodbye and God bless. Bye-bye. Thanks, Gareth.